boom, we are back in the game. It is a mental morning here. We'll try and get this show in. So today we're going to be talking about bouncing back, the bounce back year, okay? How we are going to reshape ourselves in terms of our character, principles, values, drive, passion and desire for life, all right? And that's what we're going to get into today, today's show. So, let's get into it. Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I am your host, gentlemen. And if you are coming through here, please do drop the love heart. Please do comment in the post that you're here, where you're from, where you're watching from. Okay, and if you think it's going to help anyone, share it with them. It's like a mad morning. It is hoying it down. The wind is blowing. Two shelters are in my talking. There's lads sleeping in there. Um, so I don't want to wake them up. So we are here under the umbrella, ready to get to it. How have you been? How have you been? It's been a good week off. Literally done nothing but just chilled. Literally done nothing but chilled. Give the mind some time to rest, which is desperately what it needed. So look, let's get into this, the bounce back. Um, <clears throat> this was always going to be the project when we come back. Um, and it's really about establishing or rediscovering your very best self as a guy. Um, it's been a crazy two years. I've seen a lot of um, stress, frustration, um, distraction in a lot of guys over the last 18 months. Guys that I work with, guys that follow me, guys that email me. And I really feel like we need to get a grip on this situation now. Okay? And we've got to do that by redefining who we are. Because I feel like, because of everything that's happened in the world and the uncertainty, there's still a lot of anxiety, a lot of questions about who you are as, a, as an identity. Um, there has to be a lot of character building going on. Um, we have to be able to develop ourselves and build ourselves to a point where we go, right, listen, it's time to build this character. It's time to show up. It's time to stop making excuses. It's time to stop lulling in a pit or having a pity party where we stay in that victim mentality, right? We've got to start showing up. And we've got to start showing up for the right reasons for ourselves, number one, first and foremost. Having that self-respect for ourselves, having that self-standard for ourselves to reach that level, right? Um, and a domino effect of that, that runs parallel, is you showing up for your family, being the leader of your family, right? Being... The, the guy who stands up and, be, uh, and, and becomes counted. And it's not easy. I don't want to turn around and say, this is going to be an easy road. But it's about plugging away at this. And you're going to either do it through watching these videos. You're going to do it by joining one of the courses. You're going to do it by coming in our world. However you do it. You, but you must consume yourself with positivity. You must consume yourself with direction. You must consume yourself with a, with a passion and desire to want to be better. And that's what we're all striving for, right? But it's time to stop the jibber-jabber and it's time to start putting in the work. And it's not going to be easy. Like I said, you're going to face distractions, temptations, bad habits, old mindsets. But if we are ever going to change, then we've got to be able to make moves because nothing comes of nothing. You'll achieve nothing by doing nothing other than complaining and building and fueling the negative mindset. All right? So, where do we go from here? I would sit down and go, right, where do I want to be by Christmas? Like, in your mind, let's talk about my four pillars, up, my, my four pillars of life. That's health, personal development, relationships, okay, and your business slash career. Okay. If you could choose one place you'd like to be in each one of those pillars, where would it be by the time Christmas comes along? What would make life happier for you? What would feel like an accomplishment? What would feel like a milestone? What would feel like a win for you? And I want you to write them down, play with them, brain dumps, brainstorm a couple of ideas for each pillar and kind of look at them and go, that gets me excited, that gets me excited, that gets me excited. Boom, write them down, stick them on your fridge, stick them in your journal, stick it on your phone and go, this is what I'm about until Christmas. This is what I'm focusing in. This is where my time's going. This is the direction. And suddenly you go from being lost 
to having direction, to having a, a goal, picking yourself up, going from level one to level two. And that will set you up really to go for the bounce back year. 2022, bounce back year, bang. Setting yourself up to be in that right frame of mind to get it going. And if you want to help with that, we're running our last five day challenge of the year, okay? Which is on the 8th of November, it's free, doesn't cost anything, it's a five day workshop online with me. Just gotta register and secure your place and we will go through how to do that, okay? We'll go through key aspects of how to build yourself up, how to recognize where you are. And I think that's what's really important because you can't do it by yourself. It's really difficult to do it by yourself. I've got a coach, I can't do it by myself. We need accountability, we need guidance, we need mentorship, we need support. And if we're ever gonna make that change, we're gonna be able to invest that time and energy in ourselves and, and resources and tools to help us do that to learn. Okay, know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, it's good to be back. It's just gonna be a short, sharp one to come back into it. We're back to the routine of doing these morning shows, Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, half past five. Okay, dishing out focus, dishing out direction and hopefully giving you the strength in here in your mind to want to show up okay i think some people send me some stars i appreciate that thank you whoever sent me those stars i'll have a look there and thank you in the comments when i get home um have an amazing week be positive get that task up build your direction about where you want to be by christmas keep showing up one percent every day positive mindset every time you find yourself in that negative loop step out of it self-awareness self-consciousness about what is your mind is telling you all right guys it's good to be back um look forward to delivering lots and lots of content the new books out this month okay we've got the last 28 day challenge of the year we've got the remember the mission seminar at the end of the month so it's a busy busy month okay and there's lots of opportunity for you to um, to, to grow and use these tools and resources to help you grow. All right, have a good one. I'll catch you soon.